Hi everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome to Vox Yoga. I am so excited to finally put this video out because I am now launching my online downloadable set of four 60 minute yoga for singers practices, which you can download and have unlimited access to so you can come back to it and practice as much as you would like. So I'm just gonna tell you a little bit more about it, what to expect, and then hopefully you might like to go and practice practice with me and enjoy these videos. So this is going to be launched the 21st of June because it's International Yoga Day. Why not launch on a day where we're celebrating this connection with our bodies and our mind, our breath, and that's what these classes, this course is all about. Body, breath, mind and voice. So I will put the link in the description box where you can get access to this, but I'm going to tell you a bit about it. So you have four 60 minute classes or practices. So these are really to be in place of the previous classes that I was doing live. I started these throughout the pandemic when everyone was at home and I had loads of people joining me live to practice with me. However, as the world started to open up again, um, I'm also lucky enough to have students that join me from all over the world in different, uh, different time zones. Everyone was just requesting the catch up and the recording. So these classes are really in place of those. And although I have these practices on YouTube, which I'm sure you will like if you're watching this video, <laughs> um, they are short. And sometimes we want to be able to immerse ourselves in our practice and really feel the benefits of our practice. So by having 60 minute sessions, it gives you a chance to really feel that connection a little bit more and feel the benefits at the end of the practice and then if you come back to them to really feel that progression as well. So when you um, have access to your course, these classes, you'll first of all have a short video from me telling you how to get the most out of these classes. So don't feel like you're just getting thrown in at the deep end because of course it's yoga for singers, yoga for singers and voice users. There will be a little bit of vocalising and we'll kind of incorporate this in small stages as we go. So I will tell you how you can get the most out of your practice, how you can modify things if you need to, find variations that work for you. And the joy of these classes is that you can pause them at any time you like and rewind them. So we have four classes and they're slightly themed, body, breath, mind, voice, but they all link together and they all lead on from each other. So first of all, let's talk about body. This 60 minute session is maybe the most like a traditional yoga class, but we're thinking about warming up all the support structures that are needed for singing, not just warming up, but making us aware of them, understanding a bit more about the connection with the muscles, making space. So we'll be hopefully freeing up the body from any excess tape excess tension, thinking about releasing and engaging the core muscles as well, settling into the best alignment that you're going to need for your voice use and really establish your breath and your focus. So you could easily do this practice without any vocalising or voice use. If you've done some of my classes before, you could start to add it in. And then as we'll add voice in throughout the four classes, when you come back and do this body practice again, you could of course add some more vocalising voicing or breath work in. The next practice is breath, where we really just explore different aspects of the breath, how our inhale can feel in different areas of the body, how we can connect to our muscles of exhalation as well, and explore this idea of what support could look like. We also think about how our body and our voice responds to this sense of flow and movement within the breath. And then we look at some yogic breathing techniques, some pranayama, and see how these could help to support our singing. The third practice is mind, one of my favourites, although I like them all really for different reasons. But it's a really calming practice to help find focus, bring us into the present and just take time to slow down. So it will explore some postures which hopefully are going to help relieve stress, anxiety 
adding some vocalizing, just really gentle humming to this can help stimulate our vagus nerve, relax our parasympathetic nervous system. And then we also end this one with a guided visualization, short meditation as well. And the final class is voice, where we really are starting to think about how we can add voice to movement. So this final practice is a little bit more workshop based. We explore some flows, starting very simply with a seated flow, then moving to something a bit more energized, then a more standing flow with the body, thinking about how we can add different types of vocalizing, something more freeing or something more primal, or singing a song whilst we move. Again, it's all about how our voice and our body work together and respond to each other. And that final practice really hopefully does start to put together all the work that we've been thinking about through the classes. So what are the benefits of having these four practices? It's all about awareness. I talk about it a lot on my YouTube channel, for example, about how we can't just think about the voice as our vocal cords and everything being here. The voice is part of our body, it's part of a whole system. Our voice is also affected a lot by our mind and our approach and how we consider our voice as such a personal thing. And how our breath is so supportive. And of course, our breath is our fuel for our voice. So it's so vital that we're really considering everything when we're thinking about the voice. So it's a holistic approach to voice use. And if you are someone that is interested in yoga and movement and the voice, or if you're someone that maybe is feeling a little bit stuck in their body and feels it's maybe affecting their voice use, then this could be really great for you. So do you need any yoga or singing experience to enjoy these classes, these practices? Not at all. So it may be that if you've never done any yoga at all before that, you know, the pace of some of it does feel a little bit quick. However, as I said, there'll be variations. You can pause it, you can rewind, you can take a break. It's really flexible and I really want you to take the practices and make them work for you. If you do a lot of yoga, then it might be that the practices feel a little bit slow because you're used to doing lots of flowing with, you know, movement, lots of sun salutations. However, this these practices are all about awareness and how you can build awareness of your body, your breath, your mind and your voice. So it's great to actually slow down. So I think the pace of the classes will really be different for everyone, but I hope that as much as possible, I've tried to make this as accessible as possible. If you've got any questions about these classes before you want to sign up, then just get in touch. You can drop me a DM on Instagram or you can drop me an email or pop a comment on YouTube below as well. Um, and I just really hope that everyone enjoys these and finds them a useful tool. And it really is an introduction to yoga to singers, uh, yoga for singers. We're just scratching the surface. There's obviously a whole world and so much to explore as well. So this is just a little bit of an intro and hopefully it can just help you to connect to your voice a little bit more. So thanks for watching and um, go and sign up. I'll put the link in the description box below and um, thanks for joining me.